guys, uh, this is Rene. Uh, I'd like to give you an update on what I've been doing uh, lately, amongst other things, but this is what I've been doing. I've bought a set of uh, uh, battery powered uh, drill uh, machines, uh, second handed, and uh, as most of you know, the old uh, nickel cadmium uh, or metal hydrate batteries die over time and uh, well to buy a new battery pack is pretty expensive and uh, it's all obsolete so these days you get lithium ion batteries so what I decided to do was the following uh, I bought this case but I already had a drill and, a, and a, um, with two batteries and uh, a charger this is a regular charger as you can see and the batteries are standard this is a standard uh, package it's not modified our standard uh, pa12 batteries they are 12 volts and they contain 1.3 amp hour of juice so 12 volt 1.3 amp hour of juice these batteries this one and the one in this machine is the original and it uh, it, ru it still runs they're all batteries but they still work this is unmodified and uh, I sold this one uh, to a friend of mine who needs a battery powered machine also. So I bought for a few bucks uh, this whole case with two of these drills and uh, three of the batteries. The batteries were still decent but they were uh, getting old. What did I do? I destroyed old laptop batteries got the lithium ion batteries out of there opened up these batteries th they weigh nothing because lithium ion is really uh, light now I uh, b broke them open uh, and put four lithium ion batteries uh, 18 six, 650 630 I don't know what it is batteries in series in here it's a little bit tinkering but it's not that hard in, a, in a, a quarter of an hour you're done so really easy to do so this battery now contains a lithium ion package of maximum 16.8 volts instead of 12 volts and the batteries each are 3 amp hours so this battery now contains a lithium ion pack of 3 amp hours 16.8 volts and the standard battery is only 12 volts 1.3 amp hours uh, then again lithium ion has no memory uh, uh, effect so if you charge these and put them away they stay full a really long time uh, instead of the nickel cadmium that these are uh, standard which are uh, depleted within a week they just drain they have a real high self uh, um, how do you say it? The discharge rate. But this battery now weighs one third of the original one, but has more than three times the capacity in power. So that's nice. Uh, I did it with this one, this one, and this one. So all three batteries are now three amp hour, 16.8 volts, and uh, they are charged already this is a, a drill exactly like that one and it works perfectly no problem so the uh, four volts more than the standard battery is no issue not at all okay but then again the standard battery charger doesn't work on lithium-ion batteries so what did i do i ripped this one completely apart took everything out except the contact points inside here to uh, connect with the batteries and I put my re-EMF charger inside uh, but the problem with the re-EMF charger uh, as I had it before was that it keeps on charging you need an over voltage to start charging because it oscillates for charging batteries it is perfect but uh, it overcharges the batteries if you don't watch out so you have to constantly monitor the uh, the batteries uh, and see if they are uh, full because when you get over the 16.8 volts you start overcharging them and you don't want that with any kind of battery 
also with the lithium ion you don't want that then again the re-EMF charger is very mild on batteries even if you overcharge them the batteries won't die even if I charge them normally they don't get warm unlike uh, normal chargers that will surely kill your battery okay so what did I do I, uh, I changed the circuit a little bit I'm going to show you something I changed the circuit a little bit to be able to charge the battery and at a certain voltage I wanted it to automatically shut off so I had to adjust the schematic a little bit I'll show you what I've done I also you see the green LED uh, burning there I put that one in uh, I, I used the red one that was underneath here uh, for indicating the charge I also put in a voltmeter that I can uh, uh, switch off or on it's on now and it only measures when there is a battery in there you can see it's at 16.1 volts if I push the red button you see the green light going out but it doesn't start charging now because the battery is full uh, I made a schematic so that at ab around 16.1 60.2 volts it, uh, it shuts off it uh, charges the battery is still 16.8 with a pulse charge and then switches off this uh, keeps the batteries alive <laughs> very very long because the pulse charger already helps your batteries but now with uh, with uh, the automatic uh, switch off at 16.7 or 8 volts it switches off and the battery stabilizes at 16.1 16.2 volts Sometimes when it oh, now it starts charging, you see the number jump up to 16.6. .6. And once it reaches uh, its full potential at 16.7, 16.8, it will au automatically shut off. You hear a, a contact inside the switch, and there it goes. And it drops back to 16.2, 16.1. The green light goes on, the red light goes off, and that's it. So I have a charger made with a re-EMF charger. I use old uh, laptop batteries, uh, lithium ions, you can also buy new ones, they're not ex expensive anymore. Uh, open up your old batteries, rip the old crap out of there, put four of these uh, lithium ion cells in series and you have a hell of a accu uh, of a battery powered uh, drilling machine that goes a long way. The, the machines themselves are really uh, sturdy, you know Makita, I, I think every uh, uh, man that hobbies at home knows this uh, brand it's really good and the machines themselves are yeah well and they are used but they are really good uh, it's always the battery pack that dies or your charger that dies once you build in this uh, charger the re-emf charger that i designed and build and uh, replace the batteries inside you're good to go again for a really long time and once the batteries eventually die just put in four new ones <laughs> it will cost you hardly anything what I'm planning to do is to uh, make a circuit board out of this schematic that I made here uh, so I can make a, a complete circuit board with all the components uh, in place the the coil wired everything uh, done for people who like to build stuff themselves but really don't want to put all the effort into the electronics part just want to have the charger ready to go and then I will uh, uh, probably give an option to uh, use different voltages if you want to use one two three four five six however uh, uh, amount of uh, lithium ion cells you want to use or any kind of other cell you can also use it with uh, uh, lead acid batteries uh, and uh, all, uh, you only need to uh, change the maximum charging voltage and it's really easy in the circuit that I designed to uh, adjust that it's a uh, it's all st solid state so no no potential meters that can uh, uh, change their values it's all fixed with components it just works and um, I want to bring it out in a circuit board and uh, uh, then uh, put it up for sale and then you can buy a circuit board completely uh, done uh, working and put it in your own device put a, a transformer in there and you're good to go I will explain that when, when I get that far 
Well, that, uh, that is where I am uh, at this point. I have another idea that I want to investigate about real free energy. I'm uh, working on that one. I hope to get that soon, uh, 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 ready soon too. But for now, this is what I've been doing. I wanted to give you an update. I hope you like it and I see you in the next clip. All right, see ya.